here is the 28 Camus. This is a 2020 model. This one's uh, equipped with the 425, which is just an incredible power plant for this boat. Uh, she'll run north of 55 miles an hour, depending on load and winds and currents. It does have the optional hard top. This one has white hull sides with an ice blue hull bottom. As you can see, the boat has stunning lines. Uh, very unique hull design. That hull design is uh, patented by Michael Peters of Michael Peters Yacht Design. It is called a Step V ventilated tunnel. It's very efficient and is absolutely the driest bay boat I've ever been in. Uh, we recently finished the Miami Boat Show and was doing sea trials and another one the, the entire show and that was the number one compliment that everybody would give about this vessel is, is how dry it is. Dual swim platforms, jack plate comes standard with the 425 package. The steering is integrated on the 425. Uh, you will notice that that kind of tunnel in the back that keeps it extremely stable in turns. You also notice the large stainless steel water intakes, uh, which is very important on a, a stepped hull. You see a lot of the lesser quality boats using just a standard intake on a stepped hull. And unfortunately, with that design, your your live wells just don't get water when you're up and running because of the, the ventilation from the steps. All right, we're going to uh, head up on inside the boat now. It's the 28 Camus, very large front area. All these cushions are removable. Even the uh, bolster cushions are removable. Large front casting deck. Tow rail all the way around. Integrated cup holders. Diamond stitching in the cushions. This one has the, the dune color cushions. We also offer them in, in, a, in a pure white as well. A couple features I really like is all these hatches we can open with the cushions on. As you see there, that is a large insulated storage box. We actually have a, a canvas cover in there right now. A couple features that are really neat is you notice the, the integrated gasket that's actually integrated into the mold. It's molded in. Uh, as opposed to the gasket being on the back of the lid, those never stay. Uh, this will stay here for the long run. You can see the, the moisture here and how well insulated uh, this box is due to that gasket. You'll also notice a little stainless steel catch here for the latch. So when the latch comes around, it's not rubbing on, on raw fiberglass. There's a nice stainless steel catch here. When you rub your hands on all these edges, it's all finished off really nice. Not a uh, not like a lot of the vessels out there and the way they're built today. Obviously fully finished on the back side of the hatch, stainless steel gas shocks. And then if you're just out fishing with the guys and you're in some rough seas, as you can see, we have a, a plunge plunger latch here, just kind of catches on to here. And when, um, you know, when you have the cushions on, that enables us to close these. They're latched pretty well. Um, and then you're able to easily open them with the cushion on. With the cushion off, you can access the other side of the latch here and be able to also turnbuckle latch that shut. Down in the floor here, the deck here, we have a large storage compartment with a reveal for a five gallon bucket. Great place for additional storage. Five gallon bucket with a cast net. Large gutters with overboard drainage forward storage compartment very deep completely dry the integrated gasket and gutter the hatch you see down inside there removes and is access to our optional fresh water system which this boat is equipped with if you do not order a boat with fresh water that hatch would not be there and you would just have deeper storage stainless steel gas shock and one of the things we really like is when you close this just a oof, Solid as could be, quiet, won't scare the fish, and then steady as could be as you walk on. So very well designed anchor locker. Holds there for an anchor. Anchor will sit in there vertically. The hatch is on tension, tension hinges. Uh, we also have a spot there for a trolling motor plug. If we install a trolling motor plug, and we do have three cleats up here. So 
one on each side, and then a center one for your anchor, right, right where your anchor line would come out of. So very well designed. Looking aft from the bow of the boat, notice rod holders on both sides of the console. Underneath the seat of the console there is a nice insulated small cooler. There's a glass windshield. Very neat feature here is a integrated rod holders on the console door. So it's a beautiful fiberglass, very well fit and finish fiberglass door. And due to the height uh, between those and the top of the hard top there is most of your, your, your regular spinning tackle and stuff like that, especially stand up tackle, is not going to be tall enough to go into your hard top. So you can actually reach over here and open the door with your rods in the door. Again, very nice fit and finish. You can see the integrated gasket on the back side of the door. Two sided molded fiberglass door. This is the inside of the console. It's the standard porta potty. It's just a snap in marine mat. Our batteries are through that hatch there for the engine and house. And then if we do trolling motor batteries, they're going to be through that hatch there. We can fit three, mo three batteries and a charger inside there. Service access is going to be through there. This boat does have the motorized battery switches. If that switch on the dash to activate these were to fail, you could just step inside here and turn those manually. You do have a nice DC meter there that you can switch between your engine bank and your house bank all your push button breakers and then a 12 volt blue seas fuse block for added electronics and then that hatch there will open and you would be looking directly at the back of your electronics for excellent access very well laid out console you have nice foot rest step there little uh, storage box right there to throw cell phone and keys and a little fiddle there to throw some stuff this is our key switch and stereo and then RGB lighting control. All the lighting in the boat is, is RGB. You can change it any color you would like. Edson wheel is standard uh, with the turn knob. Those are switches there, push button switches for the top. This one we do have a 12 inch Garmin display, XSV unit. Plenty of room for a second display if you would like or we could also just put a glove box there. A lot of custom features we can do. Those are your other uh, power switch uh, neat feature here is I can just hit that master power right there that automatically turns on all my battery switches turn my house switch on and my engine switch uh, there is an isolator system uh, so your house and engine is isolated your trim tabs jack plate control jack plate gauge and then this is the new Yamaha 7 inch display this unit here doubles as a uh, engine gauge, um, but it is also, it's actually produced by Garmin. Um, so what's neat about that is we um, have your full charts right on here. So it, it, it operates identical to your 12 inch display here and uh, information can be shared. Uh, you can have this just on sonar, this unit just on GPS. And so it truly is a, a second display. Um, so really, really neat setup. Very nice top of the dash here. We have our Ritchie Compass. Very nice seats, diamond stitching, folding armrest, seats fold down. Do have a folding footrest down below as well. Cooler rolls out on a slide. It's very easy to do. As you can see, it's a single pool. So it just takes one hand a lot of those slide systems are a two-hand operation. It can be a little tricky sometimes. Um, nice little storage area back here. Throw some stuff in there. You know, you can have your rods in the rod holders here. And you can sit in the aft seat while doing any rigging that you may need to do. This boat does have lit cup holders that are RGB. We have dual live wells in the back. So we do have the optional port well in this one. Uh, both wells are the same. They are both have the aforementioned integrated gasket, very well guttered, drains out in the back. Instead of having a, a, a too large of an opening 
uh, where your bait and water can escape. The opening is, is closed up a little bit. Uh, these are pressurized wells and they do a phenomenal job of keeping your, your expensive baits alive. Uh, the live well on this side is identical. Those are our aft seat, folds right up, super comfortable. Best seat in the house. Uh, a lot of boats like this are, are putting seats on each corner. Uh, the problem, problem with that is those are the wettest parts of the boat. If you're sitting in the back corners of the boat, uh, typically even in the driest boats in the world, those are gonna be the wet spots. Uh, so this gets you into the center of the boat and uh, keeps everybody happy. When we lift up the aft seat, that exposes a nice storage bin underneath the aft seat, and that bin will remove to access our bilge. Here is our bilge access. Easy to get to everything. It's fully finished and lined. That is our jack plate pump there. Uh, what you're looking at right there is our through hauls through the back of the boat. And what's very unique about this boat is there is a center manifold drain system. And what that does is all of our live wells and, and some of the hatch gutters and stuff like that drain into that center, center manifold drain system. That way we do not have to have, you know, five, six, seven through hauls on each side of the boat. Uh, keeps for a very clean look. Also a, a, a safer boat as well because you can have less failure points on the side of the boat.